This is a catcher's analysis video for Quinn Burke. He's a 10U player on the Bombers 10 Red team. Uh, he's been doing catching lessons for uh, quite some time, actually almost a year now, and uh, uh, it, it certainly shows. He's uh, ridiculously polished for a 10U player. Uh, so this is uh, his throw down to second. Let's watch it first at full speed. So that's a pretty good throw. Um, let's take it again, moving it a, a little slower at quarter speed. So here he comes. So let's pause. There's a couple things that we look at. We look at the feet, we look at the hands, we look at the transfer position. I'm going to start by looking at just his feet here. So his initial setup here is really quite good. Uh, I like how he's, he's nice and low to the ground which means that his legs are still bent, he's still compact, he still has that energy to put his legs into the throw. Um, one thing I would like to do is right now you see his mitt is kind of pointed down at the ground. Um, I'd like to have it be pointed um, a little more forward, um, just kind of straight in a normal receiving position. Um, but moving forward, he does a good thing here. Watch him, watch his transfer. One of the first things he does is whoosh, drop his that pinky uh, in the mitt hand, drop the pinky and open up the mitt so that it's ready for his throwing hand to come in. And if you watch his throwing hand, here's something that I definitely want him to work on. Look at where that hand is, right there on the knee guard. Now, if there's a batter here in the box, that guy can hit a foul ball and it goes right off Quinn's throwing hand, breaks a finger. So what we would like to see is to keep that hand protected. Um, I suggest in a throwing situation when there's a runner on base to keep it tucked behind the right hip. Uh, thumb in, nicely protected. Um, some guys prefer it down here by their ankle. I just think that's farther away and it, it's just it, it's a little more protected, but it's a little bit harder uh, to get the, the throw up. Here he's, he's in a great position to get the ball out of the mitt. He's not in a great position to be playing the position of catcher. Um, it's just dangerous. So uh, that's something for him to work on. Uh, one thing that I really like about this transfer, let's move the video forward a little bit. Boom. He's coming in. He's, he's instantly bringing it up. But look at where the level where this transfer happens. Catchers throw from their ear right up here. That's where the throw is happening. He's transferring the ball here. So what that means is he's going at, he, he's making two sides of a triangle. So he's going across, right? And then he's going up. Um, that's two sides of a triangle. Whereas I would rather see him just go, boom, straight to the ear with the mitt. Um, so let's see what I'm saying. Let's go through the whole sequence, see how he goes straight across. Boom, the ball is in his hand right there. He went in this direction with the mitt. And then as the video moves forward a little bit, you see the ball has to go then up to his ear, which he does a good job with. He maybe carries it back a little bit far, um, but it's not bad. It's, it's at his ear, right? And then boom, he's stabbing and throwing. Um, so that's one thing I would like for Quinn to work on is just when the, when the ball is received, doosh, take it straight to the ear, boom, straight to the ear, boom, straight to the ear, um, not going sideways with the transfer, taking the mitt to the hand, and then taking the hand to the ear. Right now, eh, it doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. You know, this is maybe a tenth of a second of extra time, but these little tenths do add up, uh, and as the runners he's playing against get faster, uh, as they're able to take leads next year and they're closer to getting to second, these tenths of a second are really going to matter for him. So just slicing off, shaving just a bit of time off would be great. Um, so now let's look at his feet. I like how he's cheating a little bit. You can see what I mean by that is his right foot there, the one he has to plant and throw off of, is a little bit back. It's nice and firm. It's ready. He's in a good solid throwing position, which is good. Watch the feet as it comes in. What we want to see, right foot stabs over to towards the left foot. Left foot then just stabs up a little bit. This is to give a nice firm base right here for him to use his lower half to push off 
and get a bit more of that body strength into the throw and not just have a throw that's all arm. So let's watch how he does it. He comes over and he comes around good. Now, let's look at just some tiny little things that we can improve here. If we go to right there, that point in the video, let's look, look at that level, boom. There's a little bit of air underneath each of those feet. I would like to see him just stab that foot straight across, just slide it, boom, and plant it, rather than getting hoppy. Because when you hop up in the air, again, that's just time. It's also slightly uncontrolled. I just want to bam, stab across, bam, stab forward. Um, and that uh, will be a, uh, it'll be a faster move towards second. Um, but he comes in. The thing I really want him to work on, lots of guys do this. Watch this, this left foot, his front foot right here. It's going to go, instead of stabbing straight forward towards the target, he swoops it around a little bit. So let's watch. See how it kind of makes that swoop there? That's just time, right? Just, that's just time. Um, what we want to do is eliminate some of that time and get him stabbing straight forward with with the the left foot boom not around and up like that instead of like that just boom straight forward it's a little thing but again these these tenths of a second are gonna matter one thing i love right here look at where he's in this position he's really really closed with his shoulders see that angle like he's he's pointed right at second base he's not coming open and uh bringing that right shoulder, the throwing shoulder forward, he's staying closed, and that allows him to use his lower body in the throw. Look at that back leg, boom, boom. That angle is pretty good, it's close to 90. What that means is he's got all that potential energy in his right leg pushing forward into the throw, and as you can see as the video progresses forward, watch him use that. Boom, he's pushing it really well. He's getting his body into the throw which is essential. A catcher has to do this. Um, now, one thing, if we can watch this now at, uh, let's watch his body angle at slow speed. So look at how he's kind of, he's starting to go up a little bit, and that leads to a slightly arced throw. Um, we don't want the altitude of the baseball to be too high because, uh, you know, simply this distance to second is shorter than that distance to second. So we want the throw to go as low and as straight and as laser beam like as we can. When he's kind of coming up, you see his sort of his energy is going up in this direction. That's going to lead to a bit more of a rainbow throw. Now as he gets stronger, as he gets older, that's going to become less and less necessary. I just don't want the habit ingrained in him that he kind of has this launch angle on his throw up like that, where that ball, you can see the direction of that baseball is going to go up that way. Um, Quinn right now, today, is strong enough to get, throw a laser beam throw to second. Nice, flat, snappy throw from his ear. He doesn't need to get that arc on it. Uh, and that's something I would like him to work on avoiding in the future. His follow-through is good. Look at how he brings that foot around. What that does is there's, there's not really a real point to bringing your foot around like that. All it does is show that he's really getting his body into it with this throw. Um, this is lovely. This is lovely. So let's go, and I want to take the whole thing, let you watch through the whole throw in slow-mo. Transfer's a little low. We can work on that. Boom. Look how he gets through, though. Mm. That's a nice throw for a 10-year-old. Man, I, I, I really love seeing this. So there's a couple things to work on. Getting the feet a little bit quicker. Uh the right foot over on the stab, not getting hoppy and jumping up in the air, transferring a little higher, uh, that, um, uh, that uh, in, instead of transferring the ball at his hip, transferring it up at his ear, um, and getting a launch angle and a throw that is a little bit flatter. But otherwise, wow, uh, this, is, this is impressive work from Quinn. Keep it up. Good job, Quinn.